Officers on dirt bikes, bicycles, and even ATVs, they're all patrolling Charlotte's busy parks and greenways. Eyewitness News anchor Blaine Tollison rode along with police and learned about the biggest crime threat for families enjoying this beautiful spring weather. There are almost 200 miles of greenways in and around Charlotte for CMPD to patrol. That doesn't count the more than 120 parks. They're covered with trees, trails, and tight spaces to navigate. I got an up close look at how officers are going to those areas with onboard cameras and as I rode along with bike patrol. Captain Christian Wagner, who leads the new transit unit, says the team will be crucial to keeping you safe this spring and summer. I think it's great to be visible to our, our, the people that come through the parks. Wagner says they're being more proactive than ever before, and it starts by officers being seen and heard. We found it's already working. During our ride along, officers reached a woman who fell in the McMullen Creek Greenway within a few minutes. She was okay and brought out on an off-road vehicle to awaiting firefighters. This is an example of how quickly officers could get to a crime in progress, but Wagner says greenways and parks are safe. Would you feel safe with your children in our parks? Absolutely. I spent weeks looking at crime maps and requesting crime reports. In the six months leading into spring 2018, I learned out of the more than 120 parks, there were 15 serious crimes in parks or right outside on the surrounding streets. They included a murder, two sex crimes, and several robberies and incidents involving a gun, but no repeated incidents of violent crimes in parks. People who use them daily told me they feel safe. I noticed the police officers come with the bike and the ride around. So you've seen them out? Yeah, just that make me feel like, okay. In Freedom Park, which didn't have any serious crimes in recent months, seemed to be plagued with car break-ins. There were more than a dozen here in the last six months. Captain Wagner says it's not just Freedom Park dealing with it. So would you say that, that that's probably the number one problem in parks? Right now, yes. Some of the victims who found their windows shattered at Freedom Park spoke to me off camera. Two told me they felt as if someone was watching them as they parked because of how quickly the crime happened. Other park visitors told me they can relate. It's horrible. Uh, you know, you feel like you've been uh, you know, violated. Captain Wagner says they can't be everywhere and want people to leave valuables at home and lock their car doors. But a big advantage of officers on two wheels thieves don't know when they're coming. And if these extra patrols don't help, and then we're going to adjust and we're going to address those issues until they stop. In South Charlotte, Blaine Tollison, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. We compiled data on crimes in our parks ourselves and even discussed the results with police. You can find a list of all the parks and the crimes we found in those areas at WSOCTV.com.